How to create a car rental app. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and in this video I'll show you a simple way on how to create a car rental app that lets your customers browse your car inventory, select a car model, choose a rental period and location, and pay online. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully functional car rental app that you can use for your own business or share with others. First, what you want to do is just scroll down below on this video to the description and click on the first link you find there. Then you're going to come across this platform, JotForm. And JotForm is a powerful online tool that lets you create forms, surveys, quizzes, and more with ease without any coding. You can also use JotForm to create a car rental app. You can choose from over 30 supported payment gateways including PayPal, Stripe, Square, Venmo, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. Creating a car rental app and JotForm is a straightforward process. To start with JotForm, the first step is to create an account. As I said, you will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. There you'll find various options for signing up. You can choose to sign up with your Google or Facebook account, or you can use your email address. Select the option that works best for you and follow the steps to create a new account. Once you've completed the sign-up process, you'll be directed to your JotForm account. To begin, locate the My Forms option at the top left corner. Clicking on this option will display a drop-down menu with various choices. Select My Apps from the available options to proceed. Upon selecting My Apps, you will be directed to the My Apps page which showcases any existing apps you have created. If you haven't created any apps yet, this page will appear empty, allowing you a fresh start. To create a car rental app, navigate to the top left side once again and click on the Create App button. Doing so will redirect you to a new page with four different options to choose from. Start from scratch, use a template, clone existing app, and build store. Selecting Start from scratch allows you to build your car rental app from the ground up, giving you full control over its design and functionality. Alternatively, you can opt to use a pre-made template if you prefer a more streamlined approach that requires minimal customization. If you have previously created an app that shares similarities with your car rental app, you can choose the Clone Existing App option to duplicate the structure and adapt it accordingly. Lastly, the Build Store option offers a marketplace for users to access and utilize various app building resources, including components and integrations, to enhance your car rental app. Because we want to create a car rental app using a pre-built template, therefore we will select the Use Template option. Clicking on this option will redirect you to the templates library where various templates are organized into categories for easy navigation. These categories can be found in the left menu and you can choose any category that suits your needs. In our case, since we are creating a car rental app, we will utilize the search bar to find a specific template. To do this, we will enter the keyword car rental in the search bar. After a short while, the search results will appear and you will see that there is a single template related to the keyword car rental called the car rental app. This is the template we will select to create our car rental app. Clicking on the preview button under the chosen template will open a on-screen window where you can preview the app. Within this window, you will find the use template option. Click on it to proceed. It may take a moment for the template to load, but once it does, you will be directed to the interface of the selected template, ready to customize and personalize it to fit your rental car app requirements. The interface of the chosen template for our car rental app is designed to be simple and user-friendly. As you scroll down, you'll encounter different pages that make up the app. The first page is the home page, where you'll find essential elements such as the app name, logo, and a prominent start button to initiate the car rental process. Continuing to scroll down, you'll come across other significant pages of the app. One notable page is the Great Offers page, which showcases sliding images of cars accompanied by an attractive percentage discounts for renting. This page allows users to reserve a car, book now, cancel reservations, contact customer support, and provide feedback. Further down the template, you'll find additional pages related to the car rental app's functionality. These pages include the Reservation Cancellation page, feedback page, and a Reach Us page featuring a map and contact details. Users can reach out through calls, email, and also provide feedback on their experience. Apart from the existing pages, you also have the flexibility to add new pages to the app. If you wish to include specific pages for products like cakes and cookies, for example, you can do so. 
To add a new page, navigate to the bottom of the template's interface and locate the Add Page button. Clicking on this button will create a new page at the end of the app where you can add various elements and customize it according to your requirements. In addition to adding new pages, you also have the option to add various elements to enhance the functionality and visual appeal of your car rental app. To do this, navigate to the left side of the template interface and locate the Add Element option. Clicking on this option will reveal a left sidebar that contains a diverse range of elements that you can incorporate into your app. Within the Add Element sidebar, you will find a plethora of options to choose from. These include basic elements such as forms, signed documents, headings, paragraphs, links, documents, images, and more. These basic elements allow you to add essential features like input fields, text content, hyperlinks, and media to your app. Additionally, you can also explore widgets that provide advanced functionality. These widgets include data grids, which enable you to present tabular data in an organized manner, PDF embedders for displaying PDF documents within your app, fit text elements to ensure optimal text display, and many more. For instance, if you want to incorporate a form into your car rental app, navigate to the Add Element option and click on it. Next, locate the Basic section and select the Form option. Upon clicking, a pop-up window will appear, presenting you with various form options. Scroll through the available forms and choose the one that suits your needs. Let's assume you decide to add a form called Reach Us. Click on the Reach Us form and then click on the Add Form button. Once the form is added, you have the flexibility to position it anywhere within the app. To do this, simply click on the form and drag it to the desired location, such as the top of the app. After placing the form, double-click on it to initiate customization. This action will open the right sidebar, where you can make modifications to the form settings. Within the right sidebar, you can change the form name by editing the form label field. Additionally, you can provide a description for the form in the description field, providing users with additional context or instructions. Furthermore, the right sidebar allows you to customize the style of the form, enabling you to align it with the overall aesthetic of your app. Any changes made to the form, including the form label, description, and style, will be automatically saved. Once you have added the desired elements to your car rental app, the next step is to incorporate a payment method. To do this, locate and click on the Store Properties option. This action will open the right sidebar where you can access various settings related to your app's store functionality. Within the right sidebar, find and click on the Add Payment Integration button. Upon clicking, an on-screen window will appear, presenting you with different payment methods that you can integrate into your car rental app. Choose the payment method that suits your requirements. For instance, if you wish to add the Square payment method, select the Square option and click Continue. Subsequently, you will be directed to another window where you need to click on the Connect button and provide the necessary authorization details as prompted. This will establish the connection between your app and the selected payment method, allowing customers to make secure transactions. In addition to managing the car rental app's payment integration, you also have the ability to customize the design of your car rental app. To do this, navigate to the right side of the template interface and click on the App Designer option. This action will open the right sidebar, providing you with various customization options. Within the App Designer sidebar, you can modify elements such as colors, app background, font family, and more. By selecting the App Layout section within the sidebar, you can even change the overall layout of the app, ensuring it matches your desired aesthetic and user experience. After customizing the design and layout of your car rental app in the Build section, the next step is to fine-tune the app settings. To access the settings, simply click on the Settings section. This action will redirect you to the Settings page where you can customize various aspects of your app. Within the Settings page, you have the ability to modify app settings, including preferences such as language, notification settings, and user preferences. Additionally, you can also customize the app name and icon, ensuring that it aligns with your brand identity and stands out to users. Furthermore, you can personalize the splash screen, which is the initial screen that appears when the app is launched. Once you have made the necessary adjustments to the app settings, you can proceed to the final step by clicking on the Publish section. In the final step of the app creation process, the Publish section allows you to share and distribute your car rental app. To share your app, navigate to the Quick Share section and click on it. Here you will find a shareable link that you can copy and send to others, allowing them to access and explore your app. Additionally, you can invite people by their email addresses, granting them access to view your app. 
Moreover, the Publish section also offers the option to download a QR code for your app. By clicking on the Download QR Code button, you can obtain a QR code image that can be scanned by users to quickly access your app. If you want to preview how your app looks from the user's perspective, simply click on the Open in New Tab button. This action will open your app in a new browser tab, enabling you to experience it as your users would. Furthermore, in the Embed section, you have the opportunity to copy an embed code. This code can be pasted into any WordPress website, allowing you to seamlessly embed your car rental app within an existing website or blog. By taking advantage of the sharing and embedding options within the Publish section, you can effectively distribute and showcase your car rental app to a wider audience, increasing its visibility and accessibility. And there you have it, a beginner's guide on how to create a car rental app in JotForm. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.